Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland. Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. It's said that great discoveries are made by accident. Now, whether that's true or not, I'm unable to say. Outside of Knotty Pine, about 20 miles, is the Brown Brothers Quarry Company. The rock that Wes Brown and his younger brother Jack dig out is a mixture of hard stone and soft stone. The soft stone is pulverized and ground for requirements calling for this type of stone, and the hard stone is cut into various sizes and shapes for building material. Hey, Rocky! Uh, yeah, boss. Well, what do you want? What kind of primer core did you use to set up the next blast, huh? Well, what do you mean, what kind? We, we only got one kind of primer core, ain't that right? I guess it is, but it shouldn't be. What? No, never mind, Rock. Uh, boss, are you sure you ain't bumped your head? Huh? What'd you say? Uh, I ain't said nothing, boss. You'll be all right after your head clears up. Me, I got work to do. Hey, Wes. You stand here looking like you got you're a million miles away for. Huh? Oh. oh, hello, Jack. What, what in the world's the matter with you anyway? With me? Of course you. Oh, oh yeah, I'm. Well, I, I got something on my mind. You sure have. You're acting very strange indeed, Mister Brown. Say, have we received the new primer cord I ordered? Oh, you haven't gone and spent money on another idea again, have you? No, not much money, Jack. Wes, when are you going to stop this spending on new ideas that never pay off? Keep your shirt on. This one sounds good. Sure, sure. That's what you've said before. By the way, we didn't receive any shipment of primer cord. That's too bad. Especially with that thunderstorm coming over the mountain. (laughs) What's that got to do with primer cord? Come on, let's go in the office and I'll show you. Okay, okay. I don't know what good it's going to do, but I'll listen and look. Watch you write the check to pay for the fool stuff. Right here in this magazine's where I got the idea, Jack. Well, let's have a look at it. What do you think? I still think that's a lot of hogwash. Who ever heard of lightning setting off dynamite charges prematurely? Hey, that wasn't thunder. It was dynamite. You said it, boy. Come on. Hey, boss. Boss, we got trouble. What do you mean, trouble? I thought dynamite had caught some of the men in the trap. But didn't you set it off? Please, you set it off at the party raid? Boy, you ain't thinking. Well, let's not stand here and jaw. Come on, and we'll see how much rock blew down. All right. Come on, Rock. Come on, boss. This way. Yeah. Uh, there it is. Oh, look at that. The, the whole face blue. Yeah. Hey, what are those two big gaping holes up there? Ah, uh, Stumpy. What's the matter, young fella? Don't you ever get tired of that thing or run out of wind? Huh? Me? Nope, never do. Far back so I can recollect. Did you ever think that we might? Mind what? Uh, like to hear some more? <laughs> no, no sir. Hey, let out of that, will you? Get out! Oh. oh, what's the matter? 
Would you mind if you didn't play that wind machine for a while? We're trying to concentrate and get these papers finished so we can relax. Huh? Okay, okay, I'll stop. You fellas just don't appreciate an artist. Oh, come on now, old-timer. Now, don't get your feelings hurt. They ain't hurt. They're just wounded. Wow. Is he hot? Oh, you'll get over it, Henry. It's just that I can't take that harmonica much more than an hour to the dose, especially when it's right in my ear. Yeah, I know what you mean. And that was his favorite song, too. Yeah? What's he call it? Shooting through the knot hole and grandfather's wooden leg. Oh, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you suppose came in the barn, Ralph? Hold still, Storm. I don't know who came in, Tom. Uh, take it easy there, Bess, and you won't get your back scratched with this curry comb. Uh, whoever came in sure is being secret about it. <laughs> oh, no, not that. <laughs> what did they do, throw him out of the office? It looks that way because he sure snuck back in here. Stumpy, cut that out! Stumpy! What do you want, Tom? What do I want? I want peace and quiet. That's what I want. Don't you ever lose that thing? <laughs> All of a sudden, you don't like my music anymore. How come? Well, Stumpy, you've uh, played a long time now, and we really like it, but... Uh... Today, you just don't seem to quit. Uh, maybe you need to stop now and take a rest. Or else come up for air. Let's roll, fellas. There's been a nasty accident out at Brown Brothers Quarry. Uh, Jack, what's the score out here? Uh, seven men are trapped under the rocks. Dynamite blew prem prematurely and caught them. Yeah? Well, there's a crew of men up there now digging, but we don't have enough equipment to move all those rocks quickly enough. Henry, radio for all the twin cats, log toes, and ground crews. Call Frenchy to Sal and tell him we need him on the double. Yes, sir. Stumpy, get up there with Wes and see what the picture looks like and report back to me. Yes, sir. Uh, Ralph, get those ambulances lined up and set up a first aid station. So the trapped man can be quickly treated and then taken to the hospital after they're dug out. I'll do that. On the double. Tom, keep all unauthorized people out of here. And I mean out. That goes for families of the trapped men, too. Yes, sir. Uh, Jack, you get all the men we have here and that are coming and find out what equipment they can skillfully handle. Uh, crane operators, cat drivers, cable and chain men, and so forth. Report back to me on the double. I'm going to have to talk with Wes. Yes, sir. Bill, I'm glad to see you. Boy, is this a mess. It looks like a mess. Uh, have you found or located any of the men yet? Yeah, all of them. Wonderful. That's fast work. Oh, it's not such a miracle. We knew about where they were working. Four of the men are in a pocket. Triangular pocket made of a large slab of hard rock. Uh -huh. Rocky's got one crane moving the rock off the top now. But I'm afraid they'll run out of oxygen, though. Well, we'll fix that. Uh, send somebody back to my car, uh... Have one of the men radio for oxygen supplies, and then tell Chief Ryan to bring his rescue truck up here, and they can start shooting oxygen down inside the rocks. Oh, that'll be wonderful if it works. It will, sure as I'm a foot high. Bill, I've got the problem sized up pretty well. Okay, old-timer, let's hear it. Well, the four men are... Wes uh, told me about them. What about the other three? They're alive. That's about all I can see. Tons and tons of rocks on top of them. Uh-oh. Hey, Bill. Uh, yes, Jack. We've got all the men lined up for work. We've got enough skilled men to operate all the equipment. Plenty of other hands to help where needed. Good. Stumpy, Jack, you fellas and I will start digging out the other three men. Let Wes work on the four he's already after. Well, that's Jake with me. When do we start? Oh, 
Last man out on his way to the hospital at last. <sighs> yeah, thank the good Lord not a man was seriously hurt. I'd say you fellas did a bang-up job of rescuing the trapped man, and 13 hours is record time. Well, I'd say you and all the men and equipment you brought did a bang-up job, too. Yeah, that's right, Bill. Thanks a lot. Thanks a million lot. <laughs> One thing is enough, Sonny. Uh, say, how'd you fellas like to relax to one of my fine harmonica renditions? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and the word, the word is renditions, old-timer. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that you're all against me. Yeah, so how about some grub? If I don't get some grub, I'll play my harmonica. Get him some. Great day in the morning, Wes. Jack, fill this man's mouth with food before he fills it with that wailing wind jam. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all go over to the cook shack and see what we can find in the refrigerator, huh? Uh, that's a fine idea. That's Jake with me. Slicked up either for food or my harmonica. Oh, Chan, what's the matter? Yeah, what's wrong? We out of food or something? Oh, no. I got plenty grub. Uh, you tell Honorable Stumpy, uh, Chan fix food plenty quick. If he not pray Honorable Harmonica, uh, Chan go now and cook fast. Chop, chop. Uh, just a minute, Chan! Uh, Chan is in terrible hurry. Uh, you talk fast. What have you got against my harmonica playing? Oh, uh, ancestors not like harmonica music. What do I care about your ancestors? They can't hear it. Ah, but Chan can. Uh, Chan go see ancestors if hear it too much. Chan not like uh, go see ancestors now. I go now, chop, chop. <laughs> ancestors. <laughs> I think he needs to see a head doctor and get a roof job. That goes for the rest of you young whippersnappers. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you want, Cookie? Don't tell me you changed your mind. A uh, chan say you pray harmonica now. A uh, chan have a great idea. I uh, prog ears with cotton. See? I go now, make food plenty quick. Chop, chop. <laughs> Boy, I'll go out there and skin that cookie from ear to ear. Ah, oh, Stuffy, can't you see that Chan's only teasing the life out of you? <laughs> he is. <laughs> sure he is. Chan's the one man in the choir that keeps us from flipping our lids with a sense of humor, you know. Is that so? If he tries that on me again, I'll lift his lid. <laughs> see ya. Maybe now you fellas like to hear a little fine music. No. Wes, Jack, now we've got to get down to the unpleasant part of the evening. Is this an official inquiry? Sure it is, Wes. Might just as well be now as later. Yeah, that, that's what I say, boss. I mean, let's get it over with now. This is not an official inquiry, and perhaps we won't need one. The big question in my mind right now is, what happened? Well, Bill, I've always criticized my brother for his constant expenditure of the company's money for developing new ideas. And I think this time Wes has really got something. Oh? Well, let's hear it. Read this, Bill, will you please? Gladly. Wes... It's your opinion the premature explosion was caused by lightning putting enough juice into the primer cord to ignite the percussion cap. Huh? Mm, that's right, Bill. I've ordered a shipment of the primer cord discussed in that article, but well, it hasn't arrived yet. Well, I know one thing. What's that, Jack? We're not wiring any more charges until we get the lightning-proof primer cord. Ah, oh, but, boss, that might take a couple of weeks. Uh, we ain't got enough lockdown to keep them unbusy that long. I'll get on the phone with the company that supplies this cord and have them rush a shipment. Right. If necessary, we'll have to give them any vacation with pay until the new cord gets here. What do you say to that, Bill? I'm satisfied, gentlemen. Well, it's about time we all gave careful consideration to getting some sleep. More commonly called shut-eye or hitting the sack. <laughs> I know what you mean. My bed won't recognize me. I've been away from it so long. Uh, you said it, boy. Hey, hey did anybody see where uh, Stumpy, Ralph, and uh, Henry went? Huh? Aren't they still in the cook shack having a chin fest with Chan? I don't know, but sure won't take long to find out. Come 
one, Chan. Shake a leg before the fellows miss us. Our time, Americans, in big hurry. A Bill, a Wes, a Jack, and a Rocky make wrong talk about explosion and a why and the wherefore and a how Our come. Our time, a chase. These men make much talk when they should be moving fast. Are you through fixing those Coleman lanterns? Our uh, lanterns are ready. A lope, a lady. A uh, Chan, a lady. Well, then, let's vamoose. Boy, the quarry sure looks some different now that all the search and floodlights are off and all the men have gone back home. Yep. Ah, it, it almost looks ghostly. You you know, uh, Chan, all time play while rescue going on. They hard to Jesus. Jesus keep men from dying. Your prayers were heard, Chan. Say, you're a Christian, aren't you? Chan Christian for many years. Are all you uh, rangers Christians? Well, Bill, Henry, Grey Wolf, Stumpy, and I are Christians. Sure. Uh, some of the other rangers, too, but uh, not all of them, sorry to say. Uh, Chan, glad many rangers know Jesus as Savior. Ah, rook ahead. There are two large size holes inside of canyon. Oh, I'll say they're large size holes. No one knew they were there until after the blast. Ah, that is right. Honorable Father always say, many things are often discovered or in smoke, a creel away. In this case, is very true. Hmm? Well, let's stop here for a spell, fellas. What do you have in mind, old-timer? I have a feeling that our little sightseeing trip into those two yawning caverns is going to be cut short just as soon as Bill catches up with us. Well, I got a feeling that the feeling you're feeling is right. Honorable Father, I say, uh, he who ducks out on boss uh, soon gets self into spot where no longer able to uh, duck out on boss. <laughs> Uh, that modern translation, please. Well, the way I figure it, we'd better split up and take to explore in both of them holes at the same time. You have a good idea, Stumpy. Uh, how are we going to split up? I'll take Henry with me. Uh, Ralph, you take Chan. Uh, agreeable? Fine. Uh, it is a Jake with Chan. Uh, that modern translation, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Let's take a look inside that mystery hole. <laughs> Chan, you here? Hey, Chan, answer me. Maybe we better try the bunk house. Yeah, that's a good idea. Rocky, check Chan's bunk over there. Yeah, all right. Ah, his bunk ain't been touched. Where in the world they go? I think I have a good idea. Where? Where? Where do you think? Those two gaping holes in the canyon wall. Oh, oh of course. Yeah, that completely slipped my mind. That must be where they went. And they got Chan in on the idea so they could get lanterns and gear. Supply shack. Let's check it out and see what's missing. <laughs> Four Coleman lanterns are missing, all right. And some coil of rope. That area isn't safe, especially at night. Uh, I'll rig up some lanterns for us and get some rope, and we'll go after them. You don't have to do that, Jack. I'll get some of my men go after them myself. You fellas need your sleep. After the way you helped us? Not on your life. We're going with you. Besides, I'm not really tired. Oh, oh me neither. But Jack's right. Only let's shake a leg. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, let's get inside the cave before we get soaked. Here comes that rain again. Uh, good idea. Let's go. Ah, it is very beautiful inside here, Rao. Yeah. Say, this is a real find. You know, the water dripped through here for thousands of years and made all these beautiful formations. Uh, why do you stop? We'll listen for a while to the sounds in the cave. If there's any shifting of rock, we'll hear it. Boy, look at these formations. Mighty pretty, ain't they, Henry? Imagine us, 
being the first human beings inside here. Yep. Quite a thing. Uh, just like finding a big treasure. Oh, I must go back and back an awfully long way, Stumpy. I can't see the end yet. Yeah, let's push along for a little while, then we'll have to turn back. Oh, already? Already, my foot. We just ain't equipped to explore in this new cave this way. Uh, we'll come back after we've had some sleep, get some proper clothes and gear. Well, uh, I guess you're right as usual, Stumpy. How far can we go back, though, before we should turn around? Uh, not too far. Let's take it real slow so we can look this cave over real careful. Then we can take our time going back out. Yeah, okay. Boy, the Lord sure can surprise a fellow with marvelous discoveries. I'd rather have found this cave than a ton of gold. You're right there, Sonny. A ton of gold couldn't build what the Lord's built in here. Just in time, boss. It comes to rain. Yeah, well, let's get inside. Now well, we better divide up in twos and take each cave. Yeah, let's get a move on. What was that? Sounded like more dynamite. It must not have all gone off the last time. Yeah, but that was only a couple of charges, boss. A couple might be enough, my friend, to cause a rock fall inside the cave. Yeah, we'd better get moving and find out. Not yet. No sense in having eight men trapped. Listen. got me pinned down across the chest. Oh, at least you're alive. You sound close by. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just brushed some cloth with my face. Is that you? It ain't my brother. That's for certain. Henry, I'm pinned real good. Can't move anything except my mouth. I can't move my arms and legs. But my head and chest are free. What happened? Dynamite. Must have been some left over from the first blast. This looks real bad, Sonny. Real bad. I'll say it does. Already, I'm getting chilled from that cold cave floor. How long do you think we can last? Not long, young fella. Not long. What a way to die. Caught in a trap of rocks. They won't dig us out for six months. Thank the Lord, only one cave at a slide. Are you two all right, Ralph, Jan? Yeah, we're fine. A few boulders rolled around us, but uh, we managed to dodge them. Are we already close to mouth of cave when blast come. Uh, what about Henry and Stumpy? I don't know what about them, Jan, but we're going to find out. Come on, let's take a look at the rock slide. Oh, look at that pile of rock. How are we ever going to dig them out? Oh, it'll take a month of Sundays, man. Henry! Stumpy! Oh, he's very bad. No answer. Henry! Stumpy! All right, men. Let's get the rescue teams back here on the double. Ralph, you take charge outside, getting them here. I'll stay here and crawl around on the slide. Maybe there's an opening through the rocks and we can locate them. Noise to guide him. I can't 
get enough breath to call out. Continuous noise, eh? Yeah. That's a first-class idea, Sonny. Except for one thing. What's that one thing, old-timer? My harmonica would make the noise you want, but I can't get to it. Oh, yeah, good thinking. Where is your harmonica? In my right back pocket. Your right back pocket? I think it's close to me. Maybe I can get it out with my teeth. Get a roll, Sonny. Up higher. I can't get any closer. I can feel your harmonica. My forehead. But I can't get my teeth close enough to rip that pocket off. Try, Henry. Try. Only a couple of inches to the top of my pocket. Can you pull my britches back to you? I can't move at all. My legs and body above my waist are pinned tight as the head of the drum. Can you pull my britches with your teeth? I'll try. I'll try. Come on, boy. Our lives depend on it. Because... <laughs> You're, you're, you're moving my britches a little, Henry. You're moving them just a little more. Should reach the edge of my pocket. Come on, young fella. Just a little more. I try it. You did it. You did it. You should be able to rip your pocket open now. Come on. I've got to rest. I've got to rest. Henry. You're right. Yeah. I guess so. I'm going to work on that pocket now. Good boy. If you can't rip it open, then gnaw through the edge and around the top of the pocket until you bite through it. Then you should be able to rip it. Yeah. Oh, boy. I'd sure like a drink of water. Here it goes. Stop! Stop! Stop right where you are now! Why? You, you gotta be careful how you tumble the harmonica off of me now. Don't let it roll away from you. I won't. Oh, I got it! Stop it! I got fine, it! Fine, lad, fine. Now, now, now play the high notes. They'll penetrate through the rocks better. Make them sound like a leaking pipe organ. Listen, I hear Honorable Stumpy's harmonica. They're alive. Bless that nerve-wracking harmonica of his. That thing's going to save their lives. Let's get busy, men, and follow that music. Music? Yes, music. Anything that makes a noise like that to save a man's life is music. Sweet music. Horrible sweet music. <laughs> And that's the story, boys and girls. Well, we'll see you next week for more adventure with... Ranger Pim! Chicago. This has been a presentation from our Moody Broadcasting Network archives. Please join us again for another classic right here.